Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to take a look at this set to eye camera. So this is a pretty awesome stereo camera that you can use for getting depth information. They have a pretty cool SDK as well, both for Python and also C++. We can use it out of the box directly, just the camera I can do depth maps up to 20 meters. We can do object tracking, object detection, plane tracking, slam and all that. It has an integrated IMU. We're going to see, create a whole playlist around the camera. Take a look at all the different examples, the SDK, what it can be used for. So we can create real world AI applications that we can put out there to do useful stuff. So in this playlist, we're going to cover body tracking, object detection, how you can take a custom YOLO V8 model, all the different YOLO variations, export it and also use it with this set to eye camera. So I have it right here. This is the camera that we're going to create a whole playlist around, see all the applications, use case and so on that we can use it for. With the case out of the box, we have tons of videos already covering it, but this is a very high level and very high quality depth camera. So let's just jump straight into the Stereo Labs platform, take a look at the products, solutions and so on, and also the documentation. So they just have a bunch of cool videos here to start with. If you want to order a set to eye camera, this is not sponsored on anything, but this is basically like the best stereo camera, depth camera that I've been able to work with, but also just seen out there. It is a bit on the higher end, might not be the best camera if you just have some very simple use cases. But if you want a very general camera doing some research and development, testing out a bunch of stuff like this is the best camera that I've ever tested out, both quality wise, how you can install it and use the Python SDK and just examples out of the box. So this is pretty cool. I have the set to eye camera, but they also have some other variations that you can check out. So just go back here again, they have a bunch of different products. So they have the set X1, set X family, set two, set box and so on. But if we just go inside the developers tab, we can get a pretty quick overview over what's the framework, what is Stereo Labs and what is possible with it. If you just want to download it, like they have a bunch of documentation, code examples, how you can download it, it's just a single click and it will basically just work on your computer. You can see it both supports Windows, Linux, and also Jetson. In this playlist, I'm going to also have a Jetson, going to show you how you can set it up, run real world AI with a stereo camera and a Jetson at the same time, which is pretty cool. So definitely stay tuned for that. Remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video here. Let's now jump into our documentation. So here we have the camera, you can read about the key features and so on. This is very awesome. You get real time depth map information all the way from 20 centimeters to 20 meters, which is pretty awesome. Here we can see some of the use cases and examples that they have. So they have depth sensing, you can see the quality of the depth maps, object detection, body tracking, even in 3D. So both detection, but also tracking on top of that. And we add another dimensionality. So instead of just doing like 2D bounding boxes, we can now do 3D bounding boxes and track those optics over time, combine it with the depth map to get the third dimension. We can also do positional tracking to have an integrated IMU inside the camera as well. So you can then do visual odometry, visual slam, have videos here on the channel going over like how you can implement it from scratch, which will make it easier for you to understand how it works on a lower level. So I go over how these algorithms work under the hood. So definitely check those videos out. If you want to really know like how does the math work? How does it act like find the position of the camera just based on the visual features? And here it also combines it with the IMU data. So it can be used for positional tracking. You can also do global localization, spatial mapping. So how can you map a local environment? Basically just take all your point clouds, your features, and then combine it, do 3D reconstruction. So this is a pretty awesome framework and SDK. And everything is going to happen in real time, especially if you have GPU accelerated computer camera control. You can pretty much control all the different parameters, plane detection. So you can also do multi-camera fusion, which just means that if you have multiple cameras around an object, you will get better reconstruction, tracking and so on, which could be really useful, especially in the film and moving industry. So we can see the support platform already mentioned that we have Ubuntu, Windows and Nvidia Jetson. I'm mainly going to just run it on my wi Windows machine. Ubuntu, it's also just going to work out of the box. And then I'm also going to do a bunch of videos with the Nvidia Jetson. Then we can go in and do a comparison of like how fast can it run on a standard computer and also an edit device as an Nvidia Jetson board. We see the integrations here, C++, Python, C Sharp and also C mainly going to focus on the Python SDK, but the C++ examples are pretty much the same. All the functionality and so on, it's just a couple of functions. If you guys are familiar with Autolytics and all of those frameworks, 
There's just a few modifications that we need to do here and there, even OpenCV, so it integrates nicely together with OpenCV as well. So basically, everything is combined, use all the functionality just as we're using OpenCV, open up the camera, do some processing, import the different modules, and we're good to go. It even integrates together with ROS, we might cover that in some of the videos as well, and also just YOLO, MATLAB, PyTorch, and so on. So this is pretty much just all our common frameworks, all the operating systems, the best of all worlds combined into a single camera with very high quality. So yeah, this is pretty much what the set camera is capable of. Over here to the left, we can see a bunch of samples, API reference, SDK overview, how we can do depth sensing, get the depth information, directly access the depth map, so you can use that in your own applications. Update detection, body tracking, spatial mapping, global localization. We're even going to cover how you can take your own data set, train custom YOLV8, YOLV9, YOLV10 models and deploy it in here. And instead of just getting your 2D bounding boxes, we can now scale it up to 3D bounding boxes, get free information about our objects. And that is very useful when we're talking about doing real world AI and computer vision stuff so definitely stay tuned for it follow the playlist here that i'm going to create so i'll just see you guys in one of those videos until then happy learning if you want to get into an ai career you should definitely check out my ai career program the program is basically all my experiences from how i went from an average student to where i am today the program consists of three main categories we have my technical courses my personal branding course and then the ai career path we have a whole community in there with like-minded people supporting each other and every week we will have weekly live calls where I support and help all of you guys. Over time, more courses, resources, code templates and so on will be added to the program. You will give lifetime access. So the sooner you join, the more value you will get for your money. Let me help you take your AI career to the next levels.